guys, welcome back to A Step Above. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the completed garment to this beautiful double-breasted sport coat. As you guys remember in the video for the past, this is 100% cashmere. The brand is Hickey Freeman, but the off-brand, or not necessarily off-brand, but the other segment of Hickey Freeman was Walter and Morton. As you know, these are the sons of the founders. We're gonna talk about the alterations that were done. We're gonna talk about this beautiful fabric and we're gonna talk about different ways you can wear a double-breasted sport coat. So if it's a video you're interested in, stay tuned. As you guys can see, this sport coat turned out lovely. The alterations that we got done, as you can see, we got the waist taken in, we got on the back of the collar, many of you have maybe noticed in the past with some of your sport coats and suits, there may be a slight roll or some puckering. Got that reduced, they were able to smoothen that out. We got a lengthening on my left arm, so you're right, because my right arm is slightly longer than my left. So we got that dropped, I believe it was about a half an inch. We got it dropped a half an inch and the other side, we were able to leave that side alone just because where it fell on my cuff, it was the about a quarter of an inch, which I like anything between a half an inch and a quarter of an inch showing on my cuff. Again, the sport coat turned out beautiful. As you remember from the prior video, this is 100% cashmere. As you know, cashmere is different plies. You can have <clears throat> two ply cashmere, three, four, five, so forth and so on. I'm not too sure what ply this cashmere, but I do know this is a very thick cashmere, something that you can wear in a late fall throughout the winter, even here in Colorado, Denver specifically, into an early spring. And if you wanted to just wear this out the house, you will be fine. You will have enough warmth and protection. Again, this is a very thick cashmere. At the same time, it is very soft to the touch, very smooth, very luxurious thing about this color, this camel color, you can wear this with blue trousers, dove gray, all the way to Cambridge or Oxford gray, different variations of gray. You can wear browns. Now, when you're wearing browns, I would encourage you to be careful, or I would encourage you, I'd urge you to be careful. You don't want to have browns that are similar in tone. So I wouldn't wear this sport coat with a pair of light brown trousers it's too close in color now a pair of chocolate brown or mid brown or maybe a, some type of pattern in a brown you can even wear a pair of houndstooth trousers if, if you have them in a brown shade in a brown shade just to show some contrast again this type of sport coat is similar to an overcoat if you had in this color you can wear it whenever you need to now when you're wearing it as a sport coat you can wear it with multiple colors just be cautious to not have browns that are similar to this. Other than that, you're good to go. Now, when we're talking shoes, I'm not one to wear black shoes when I'm wearing brown. If I have oxblood or va multiple variations of brown, loafers, darbies, or oxfords, they will go perfect with this. You can dress this up. You can dress it down. As you can see, I'm wearing a pair of charcoal flannel trousers just to have pattern on pattern. Since it is a little colder here, I like to have textures keep me a little warmer. Could I wear a pair of black loafers? One could wear that. Me, I think a chocolate brown or maybe a dark brown pair of loafers, Oxfords, Darby's will look great with this. You can, again, dress this up, dress it down. I'm wearing this a little more formally, even though brown isn't so much of a formal color. It can be, you can wear it to a formal occasion. And when I say that, I'm talking about a dinner, maybe a business meeting, depending on where you work. In today's society, you can pretty much wear whatever you want, when you want. But us in the classic menswear, we, do, we like to approach things from a different perspective. That said, the sport coat looks amazing. These are our horn buttons. I talked about that last video. I'm looking forward to wearing this. I think I'll get many compliments on this. Yes, 
it is a single vent. I have single vent, no vent, and slit vent on the side, sport coats and suits. Personal opinion, and you guys can check that video out of the past. I'm not a big, I don't care what, what type of vent they have. If it's a great fabric, it looks good on you, then get it. There's no ironclad rule saying that. That said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have any comments about the sport coat, how to wear it, or the segment of Walter and Morton, just drop a comment in the comment section. Also, go check out my Instagram. That's where I post a lot of these pictures and videos that are upcoming down the pipeline. I can't wait to wear this. I'm super excited about this. That said, guys, I appreciate your audience and I'll catch you next time.